This video should be called Thirsty Shoe Purchases of 2021. Maybe that's maybe that's the title. We'll see. We'll see when I figure it out. But Hey, fashion chasers, it's Shayna Berkeley, your neighborhood stylist, your stylist next door, here to teach you how to rock the trends in your real world. Today, we are talking about the shoes I bought from a Dillard sale, and friend, they are good. So if you want to see all pairs of my shoes, and my favorite pair will be my last pair, stay tuned, because I want to tell you all the tea about these shoes, so don't stay All right, so the first pair of shoes are the ones in my hands. They are these metallic pink cowboy boot style shoes they are booty height um they have the little tab in the back a side zipper they are really cute they're from gianni beanie most of these shoes are from gianni beanie because he is doing the doggone thing watch gianni's a she i'm sorry he or she they it the house of gianni beanie are doing the doggone thing um i wear a nine and they only had a nine on sale they didn't have a nine and a half recently i've been going up half sizes in boots i never used to do that but recently i've started to do it and it just is better for my feet it's better for like my feet you know expands in the day if i want to wear socks i'm at that age child well i gotta think about these things in my 20s i ain't never think about them but here's the 31. but they definitely make a statement when you walk in i wore them with a pink coat because i was just having one of those days where i needed to be bright bright i wanted to be like j-lo let's get loud anybody else think that was so random i was like sis I get it, but I don't get it. You know what? Let me backtrack. I ordered two different um, orders from Dillard's. The first order was like a yes. The second order is a thirsty order. And if you guys watch any of my videos, which you should, I have playlists about all things you may like from thrifting to fashion to styling to try on hauls to whatever you want. I got it. Pinterest. Yes. Okay watch it but if you watch them i always say one thing i've learned in 2020 when i'm thirsty for something it never turns out the way that i want it to so i'm really going to try in 2021 not to make thirsty purchases here is my first thirsty purchase again i wear a nine some of my shoes are eight and a half so i really can kind of run that gamut a little bit so they had these these are prada dupes i'll put the actual um prada shoe on the screen as well and they only had these in an eight and a half and so i bought them in an eight and a half no that that did not gonna work i may wear them for like a photo shoot or something if i don't want to sell them they're also gianna beanie but this part cuts this part is very tight and just i probably would have should have got these in a nine and a half if they had that more so than an eight and a half but i have never been a nine and a half and i like haven't had any kids to wear you know any circumstances that will make my feet grow or spread or whatever and i really have a narrow foot for my like i can wear like nine narrows you know what i'm saying so i'm not sure why i'm not like a skinny foot but it's pretty narrow um maybe my oh maybe my uh i used to have a super high arch maybe my arch is falling child who knows what's going on my body's going through the changes okay um not menopause but anyway they are really pretty they also have this i want to say like in a silver or a black stud but i got the pink stud because honey let's get loud i've been saying that all day <laughs> anytime i talk about being extra i'm like j-lo let's get loud because it was random and i'm just i'm just gonna use it so you'll see these as well while we're talking about dupes the second um thirsty purchase I made three thirsty purchases and three solid purchases. The second thirsty purchase are going to be these also Gianni Beanie mules. I am not a mule person, but y'all know why I buy these shoes. I'm thirsty for the animal print. That's right. I'm thirsty. I am thirsty. So they have these zebra ones. They really have some giraffe ones, but they didn't have them nowhere near the nines. They didn't have eight and a half. They didn't have nine and a half. They didn't have none of that. So I got the zebra print and I love zebra print. These are a nine. I, these are my first pair of mules and I don't know y'all comment below if this is commonplace or maybe just these but they run about a half size too small so the girl's heel is hanging off why like why you didn't put a little bit more size to make it a real nine or you should have made this an eight and a half this fits like an eight and a half I like the heel I want to say this shoe is I have to do a little bit more research I want to say it is a dupe of a Amina Morardi shoe. Maybe not hers. It is a dupe of a shoe. 
And while we're talking about dupes, I'm going to pop up a couple other shoes that Dillard's has that also is a dupe for another shoe. The third thirsty purchase is also a dupe. So maybe I'm learning my lesson with dupes. I'm not because I'm not going to buy the real shoe. But if I like your shoe, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I like the vibe of the look of it. Now, this actually is a dupe of a Amina Marati shoe. And it is the black um, satin with the emblem in the front and then the heel. And it has, what I liked about it is that it had the sling back. Um, I also have this dupe from a boutique in Houston. More so with the more of the like, you know, pyramid heel. It's clear, but it doesn't have the sling back. And I never wear them because I don't like that floppy feel when you're wearing shoes with no heels on them. I literally have worn them once and I, then I did like a video in them for TikTok. And I probably would get rid of them at some point. I don't, it's no point of no urgency for me to get rid of them. But yeah, they just, I just don't like that floppy. So when I saw the, the sling back, honey, I need a back. Y'all know me. I need backs on my shoes. So I was excited about this. Um, these were not comfortable for me and my foot was a little bit over the side of this little curve right here. So maybe that's why I was uncomfortable, but that's the third one. So the first like good, solid, calm, and not like manic urgency purchase were these pink booties. The second, the second were these, the, um, I think... That's, and that's all my Gianni Beanie. I mean, it was four of them, but that's all of them. The next one is from Antonio Milani. And these are, whew, bad. Leopard print pony hair. These are a perfect heel. If you're like someone who doesn't like to wear high heels, or maybe you live in a city where you have to do more walking than you like, but you want a heel, perfect heel. Pony toe, they're great. The only issue is... I have the v-neck what's the v-neck shana the v-neck is when it zips up to about here and it's a v right here because it can't zip up no more it's a v right here can't zip no more i call it the v-neck so these are very slender so i wonder if i got slim calf or they or they sent me slim calf it says they come in wide or slim calf i feel like this has to be more slim than wide and sometimes boots like this are just a narrower calf I don't know why. Just make it a normal person's calf, okay? The average woman is what, a size 12? Make it an average size 12 calf, and then you can have wider than that or slimmer than that. But if this is just a regular size, this ain't no, this ain't that. But they're beautiful, and I'm still going to wear them. Again, I can't return them. And I'm going to try to style them up. We'll see. We'll see what I do with them. But that's my second. Even though they don't zip up all the way, they were a solid purchase for the fit and the heel and just the beauty of them and the amount of money I paid for them. I don't regret them. I just wish, I would say I wish my calves were smaller, but I really have average size calves, if not small calves. And so I wish the shoe was larger. You're not the problem. The shoe is the problem. Come on, somebody. Say this with me. Listen, this is an aside. Say this with me. I'm not the problem. The clothes are the problem. I'm not the problem. The shoes are the problem. I'm not the problem. The color of the makeup is the problem. Why are we always the problem? Instead of it being clothes and shoes and makeup and hair and bags and them, like they always try to say that we the problem. We gotta change ourselves. No, just give me a little bit more, more material. And I'm off my soapbox. So guys, right now you've seen what, five, purchases five pair of shoes i got from dealers before i show you my sixth and last and favorite one make sure you are subscribed honey so click to join the click and subscribe to join the tribe and if you have not go on over and follow me on instagram at the fashion chase because they see the outfits first they've seen my full outfit they've seen these shoes when i've worn them they know all the tea before youtube because they follow me i do shop alongs in my stories it's a good time over on the fashion chase instagram so why why you're not there i don't understand i don't get it go now i'll wait that's great thank you okay this is my last and favorite and best purchase from dillard's it was on sale they're from steve madden and just if you follow me on instagram you've seen it tiktok you ain't seen them uh somewhere else i posted them 
but friend. I wish my birthday was in February just so I can wear these shoes, but I really don't because I'm hoping we out of quarantine by my birthday in August. Guys, wait, 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 wait. It got a little, it got a little fuzz on it. I got to make sure you can see them right. Guys, look at these boots, baby, honey, darling. Okay, let's discuss. Discuss. Let's discuss. This is me in a boot. If you ever want to know me, know about me, my personality, my likes, my dislikes, my loves, my hates, my wants, my needs, my desires, my fears, my cares, they are all in this boot. Okay? Again, Steve Madden boots. This is a size nine. Um, I also, they didn't have a nine and a half, but these 1000% go up half a size. But let's talk about the cons of this boot. The pros is, I mean, obvious. The pros is that the hand of the Lord was on Steve Matt and when he made, designed, priced, and sold these boots. The pro is that Jesus Christ himself said, this can be my forever fit when I go to heaven. The pro of this says, I am seen, I am understood, I am known. These are pro boots. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> pro. But the cons. The cons... It has no zipper. It adds to the look, but it has no zipper. So when shoes, boots particularly, have no zipper, that makes it super difficult to get off and on. I literally put on my Instagram um, me trying to take these shoes off, and everybody DM me was like crying laughing because it is the struggle. If you have a significant other, a mama, a dog who know how to follow human directions, a child, you will need their help. And if you don't, you will struggle, my friend. But struggle is a part of progress, okay? The second thing, you need to go up half a size because it is really challenging to get your foot down here. Also, a con is like when you get these boots, you need to inspect them because I had I actually had to send a pair back before they were on sale because the back of the rhinestones were coming up. I feel like they're just glued on. And so, yeah, you're going to have some that are imperfect. Um, so you just need to really inspect them to make sure they're up to par for your liking but i mean the the shape of the toe the heel the fact that it's all over crystals the tiered feel of it i don't even know if you can see but it has like the monochrome animal print like this is divine i don't even have the words this is if i had a baby my baby would look like this okay have a baby by me, baby. Be a rhinestone boot, okay? I'm just, this hits right under the knee. I'm just in love. Every, just, as the Lord say, bring your greatest sacrifice. This is my greatest sacrifice. Jesus, this is all I have. Silver and gold, I have none, but rhinestone boots, I have some. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Comment below if you feel me on a visceral heart level. This is a necessity in my life. So I'm so excited about these boots. The biggest con is I have nowhere to wear them. Not a single place, not a single soul is asking me to go nowhere where these are appropriate. But once I just put them on at the house, I'm not going to lie, and like dance in the mirror and was like, ah! <laughs> you know you do that too. What you do that? Come, listen, come closer, friend. Come, come here, come here, come here. Comment below what shoe or clothing item or whatever item you have in your house that makes you dance in the mirror that gets you excited is it stationary is it jewelry is it a new top is it what is it everybody needs something that makes them dance in the mirror and if you don't have it do go out and get your hair done and dance in the mirror go buy your new lipstick from mac and dance in the mirror go do something that makes you want to dance in the mirror you will thank me later or i'm like drake you can thank me now <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Anyway, this boot is divine. If you see it, buy it. Tag me. I want to know all about it. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it already, and you were overrun with joy about those boots, and I appreciate it. Guys, I'm Shannon Berkeley, a neighborhood stylist. Your stylist next door. Here to teach you how to rock the trends in your real world. And do not leave. Let me tell you why. I have other videos that I'll pop on the screen right now. Something that you're going to love. So I want to make sure you check it out. Give me two videos. And if you don't love me in two videos, then fine. We can never see each other again. After two videos, you and I will be best friends. You will subscribe. We'll have a lifelong partnership on YouTube together. And remember, I try. 
try to post on Mondays and Fridays because I want you to love your Mondays as much as your Fridays. I love you lots. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.